Hi ladies, it is Sierra Xantis, author, singer, motivator, and woman of many extraordinary things. And I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Worthy Woman Weekly. All right, so guess what? For this week's edition of Worthy Woman Weekly, we are going to be talking about teaching people how to treat you. You are not mean for requesting or demanding that you be treated with respect. It doesn't make you mean. It doesn't make you insensitive. It doesn't make you callous. It doesn't make you any of those things, okay? All right, get that out of the way. That's a lesson I myself personally had to learn because, you know, I'll be honest, growing up, I, um, excuse me, growing up, I was often told that or called mean or insensitive or, you know, just, you know, well, you didn't have to make it, make a big deal out of X, Y, and Z, or that was small or whatever, you know, whenever I would confront things that I didn't agree with, or whenever I would address things that, you know, didn't resonate with my spirit or I, or I found to be wrong, um, I would be, you know, called mean. Like, for example, if, you know, a, a boy, if we were younger and a boy, you know, grabbed my butt, which that has happened before, and I turned around and slapped him, <laughs> I was told that I was mean for doing that. And I probably, you know, could have handled it a different way when I was younger. Um, but I knew in that instant it had to be handled. So that was the way I chose because I knew that was rude. And I was told that I was mean by slapping the guy by a friend of mine. You know, she's like, oh, he was just playing. And that was, you know, he was just playing around and you didn't have to do that. And I'm like, okay. And I had to think to myself, am I being mean or am I just honoring who I am? You know, and just sending a, a note or a, a signal or a message that you can't just treat me any kind of way, you know, just like how you treat any anyone else. And I'll be quite honest as well, for some time I did try to, you know, I did kind of question, am I mean? Am I insensitive? You know, I see all the other girls running around and, you know, laughing, kikiing when the guys do things that they don't you know, that I personally wouldn't like, um, done to me, you know, so should I be doing what they do? But in my heart, I knew that was not right. And that was not how I should be treated. And so I handled it, you know, how I felt it should be handled. And he got slapped. And <laughs> of course he was like, told the teacher I slapped him or whatever. But I said, well, you know, you slapped me, you slapped me, not only you slapped me, you slapped me on my butt. But anyway, the whole point is you're only being mean or insensitive if you are not honoring yourself. If you're allowing people to treat you any kind of way that you know does not resonate with who you are, what you believe in without addressing it. And I, you know, I was young, of course, so, you know, you're going to do whatever you have to do. Um, to stop whatever treatment you, you know, you want to end and slapping the guy was what I chose to do at the moment. Um, but he never did touch my butt again and he may not have liked me very well. He may not have found me favorable amongst the other little girls, but that was fine because at the end of the day, I honored who I was, but there were times when I felt like, okay. I must be doing something wrong if everybody else is going along with something and being okay with things that I'm not okay with and nobody's saying anything. And when I speak up, somebody says something, maybe it's something wrong with me, but I had to learn and thank God for a good mother who really did instill in me what was right and to honor myself and my beliefs, because I had to learn that you teach people how to treat you. Excuse me. You teach people how to treat you. You don't you know, you don't just allow anything to happen because when you allow anything, you get anything. When you accept anything, you attract anything. And that shouldn't be because you should be a woman of integrity, a woman of value. And there's three types of people in the world too. There's people with integrity and that integrity is a just a normal 
everyday part of who they are. It's a part of their fiber and their being. Then there's another person, the other kind of person who they have selective integrity. They only treat certain people with integrity based on how they view them. If they view that person as respectable, oh, they're going to show the best side of themselves. If they view that person as someone, you know, who doesn't deserve respect for whatever reason, maybe how they look, how they carry themselves, I don't know, then they most likely won't show integrity or respect towards that person. And then there's the third kind of person that just doesn't have any in, any integrity or respect for anybody that just simply doesn't exist. But it doesn't matter what kind of person you come in contact with. You always hold yourself in high enough esteem that you don't accept anything from anyone. And I do agree that, you know, there are certain situations where, you know, you choose your battles, you know, if it's something really small or, you know, it's, it happens so fast and you got to go, or, you know, you don't have, you don't want to spend your whole life putting out fires, obviously. But if you know that there's a situation that you feel strongly about, you should speak out against it. And, you know, you will feel worse off if you don't speak out against it than if you do. And I'll give an example. Okay, so today I went to a little market near my house and got these little things called, um, oh God, what are they called? Um, pasteles. They're like a little Puerto Rican dish. And I got the pastel, pasteles and I went up to the um, cashier to purchase them. And I noticed that as you know, the other customer in front of me was leaving. She was, you know, wiping the counter with one of the bags. I guess the counter had gotten dirty from, you know, people coming and putting all different types of produce or things on the, um, you know, the little rolling thing, you know, the thing you roll the food down, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. But they, um, you know, at the register, she was wiping, wiping everything down. And, you know, it didn't dawn on me that that would be the same bag that she would try to bag my food with. I'm thinking she's going to throw it away. But when she got to me, she was, you know, she opened up the bag and proceeded to put my food in there. Ma'am, what are you doing? No, I, I nicely asked her, I said, ma'am, that is the same bag that you just wiped the counter with, correct? I said, why did you wipe the counter with that bag? She said, oh, because it was dirty. I said, okay. So if it now, if it was dirty, then it's now not dirty because you have the dirt on the bag. Why do you think that bag is suitable for you to put my food in? And I said, I, I will re kindly request a new bag because I come here often and I know your customer service to be much sharper than that. And everybody who I usually deal with here has, you know, great integrity. And so I, you know, I, I expect, I've come to expect that level of service when I come here. And so I told her and she was like, okay, I'm so sorry, you know, gave me the new bag or whatever. But I could have easily just said, oh, whatever, it's just a bag. But then I would have felt like I wasn't honoring myself, you know? And then the next time she saw me, she would have most likely did something else that represented lack of integrity or customer service because I would have shown her that it was okay to treat me that way. So basically what I'm saying is you teach people how to treat you. And once she did give me a new bag, I told her, I said, thank you so much. I appreciate you honoring your reputation of customer service that I've known you to have, you know, since I've been coming here. Thank you. I appreciated that. And I walked out, no big deal. So anyway, I said all that to say this, okay? Um... When you, when it comes to honoring yourself and teaching people how to treat you, number one, be firm, okay? You can be firm without being rude, you know? I know y'all thinking about when I slap that guy. <laughs> All right, be firm, but don't, don't slap people. All right, I was, I was young. That was how you handle stuff then. We, at least that's how I thought. But anyway, be firm, but you don't have to be rude. Number two, compliment what you appreciate and you will get more of what you expect. And also make sure that you thank the person for correcting whatever it is that they, you felt, you know, they were, they wronged you in. And number three, 
be proud of yourself for honoring and value valuing who you are. Okay? So whatever you do this week, make sure that if the opportunity does present itself for you to um, stand up for yourself or things that you honor, don't back down, especially if it's something you feel strongly about. Okay? As a worthy woman, you treat yourself well. Treat those around you well. Operate out of integrity and expect integrity. Okay? That's been my time. I know this was long, but if you made it to the end, that means you're a very, very valued and loyal viewer, and I really appreciate you. And I will see you next week.